वेलकम बैक टू वन टू अनदर नाइनटी सिक्स बोर्ड गाइड एंड इन दिस वन वील बी टेकिंग अ लुक एट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल डॉकर ऑन नाइनटी सिक्स बोर्ड रनिंग डेब इन ओ एस एंड दिस एक्चुअली गोस फॉर पीटी मच एनी नाइनटी सिक्स बोर्ड दैट्स आउट दे एंड इट शुड वर्क बट फॉर टू डेज पर्पज आई एम अगेन टेकिंग आउट दी ड्रैगन बोर्ड फोर टेन सी एंड आई हैव कनेक्टेड टू इट एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन वाई आर एस एस एच एंड आई थिंक लेट्स जस्ट गेट टू इट um the documentation would be linked down in the description so make sure you have that open up as well um so first of all what we need to do is make sure our system is up to date so sudo apt update and once that's done sudo atp dist upgrade would actually upgrade your system so and looks like we have a few updates so let's go ahead and update it anyways so with that then let's move ahead and check if our debian installation is actually compatible with docker and we do know it is but uh, for the most part it's always good to check so let's go ahead we have to download a script from github for that we do a wget and then the script so this particular link is available in the documentation so again link to the documentation in the description go ahead and follow that as well once that is downloaded all we have to do is chmod plus x and the script which is check config and then just run it so it does show up few things missing but for the most part should work just fine so let's just go ahead and install docker then so the command is simple so sudo apt install and docker dash engine all right looks like it changed so docker ce all right so the installation has changed to docker dash ce so instead of docker dash engine it should be docker dash ce so make note of that and let's just wait for it to be installed all right with that done let's start docker itself so it's as simple as sudo service docker space start so there's the command press enter wait for a few seconds and that's done and then now let's just run uh, ubuntu docker so we need to specify for it to run arc 64 based docker instead of x86 so the command is again simple sudo docker run uh, dash it space arc 64 slash ubuntu and then the uh, entry point so that's been uh, and then we want to start with bash so that would be it uh, let's go ahead press enter and it's not able to find the image locally now it's going to pull the latest images All right so that's done and we are into our docker image now to test that we are running ubuntu and not debian first of all we just finish the command so it is in ubuntu but just to take a look so we can do a cat slash etc and os release that's came up as ubuntu and version is 16.04.1 lts and um, we can run all of our regular commands so sudo apt update results in all the ubuntu um repositories being pulled in so after this you can basically use all of your docker command like docker ps and again as we just saw docker run and everything else just works fine just make sure to specify the architecture and just not just simply run sudo doc, docker run ubuntu otherwise it gets confused and pulls in the x86 image which will not execute on on arm hardware so just make sure to use the arc 64 uh, and that that should be fine all right so let's go ahead and create our own docker image now we do need a few more um, packages for that including deb bootstrap uh you might if your uh, internal memory on the dragon board is uh filled up i have 4 gigs left so i'm just going to give it a go but if you actually don't have as much uh, memory left you can always go ahead 
and mount a new target and use that external storage to dump all the uh, new image data into so that you don't run uh, out of your uh, main storage so the details for that is given in the documentation so make sure and you go and check that out as well but for now let's just install deb bootstrap and that would be as simple as sudo apt get install deb bootstrap that's about it so now let's uh, create a new image of sorts and we are just going to download the um, root fs so sudo deb all right so the command for that is sudo deb bootstrap uh, and dash dash arc so now we set the uh, cpu architecture we want so that's arm 64 and then uh, which uh, daemon build we want we are on stretch right now and but just to make it a bit more interesting i've added buster instead so that's the unstable branch and then this is the folder under which we want to keep all of our root fs for now so when i press enter it starts retrieving all the resources and the packages and it is going to take a while because there is a lot to download all right so just to make the output a bit more exciting you can add or the option of verbose and this should get give you some interesting outputs this is just a thing if you are sitting here and getting bored so you can always add the verbose option and once that's done you should see some fun outputs okay so it looks like everything is done as and as you can see the output is pretty darn long so now let's go ahead and convert this into a docker image so all you have to do is follow this command which is basically uh, so uh, it's to compress the root fs the debian root fs we just created into a tar file and that's all it does so let's run this and again this should take a fair amount of time to complete since it's compressing a whole lot of files all right looks like it's done didn't take a whole long a lot of while um just a few seconds and now is to um convert this into a docker image so what we are you doing is using cat to pipe down all the data stream from stretch.tar into actually i should have named it uh, buster.tar since we are using buster images but just for this use case um, is to stream all the data from our uh, stretch.tar pipe it to the docker import command and it comes right there and then I will just rename it to my buster base and that should take another few seconds so that's all done and sorted and uh, now if we run the command sudo forget, docker images we can see that we have our my buster base and now if we run that image uh, so that sudo docker run so that sudo docker run uh, it um, and my buster base and you have to enter in at bash uh, and just run it and now we have buster running release that gives you uh, gnu linux debian uh, buster slash set so that's the unstable version and that's about it that's how you um, create a docker image and install and run docker on a 96 board ce thank you so much for watching again do look at the guide down in the description